Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another video from the Stevens Designs Company YouTube page. Be sure to like and subscribe. Today, we're going to create seamless patterns using Adobe's Photoshop's new update that allows to us to preview the pattern live as we make it. Uh, two things I want to warn about before um, we get into the video is just something I encountered um, when I was thinking about making this video for patterns. Uh, the first being um, it's on um, Photoshop's latest update. I don't know the exact version number that is. Uh, might be able to look right quick. Um, 22. So, uh, you know, you want to make sure you got the latest update, but, but to get the latest update, you also got to have the new Mac update, which is, uh, the new Apple update, um, Big Sur, which came out, I think, uh, um, like in the beginning of May, something like that. Um, in April, um, you know, so those two things you need to be able to to preview the pattern live. We're gonna get into it. You don't. Another thing I want to want is for this to work. Um, you don't want to create this one too big of a document, like five thousand by five thousand pixels. Uh, it's pretty big. Uh, so just square thousand by thousand is fine. Three hundred DPI. Um, you can do it in either CMYK or RGB. Um, um, be in mind that uh, the the color that you choose for back the background will repeat uh, outside of the the, the artboard bounds. Um, we're gonna get into that. Um, let's make the white. Okay, right, so here you have, you know. Uh, uh, oh yeah, it doesn't work in artboard mode. That's another thing. And a couple things that you might want to know um, is is limited as far as like doing the um, advanced effects like liquify um, and um, 3D. These will disable preview mode. Um, so it's best to work with like smart objects and not roster images. Um, um, brush strokes not too not too crazy. Uh, what else? Uh, just stuff like that. But it's 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 still pretty good. Uh, I don't want to get too too deep into it not working. In the video is about using the patterns. So to enable pattern preview, it's pretty simple. You just you go up to view, go down, pattern preview. And here we got the warning about the smart objects. I don't need to see this because I make patterns all the time. And here the background color is repeated outside of the artboard bounds. Your entire workspace is now uh the pattern so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a layer and with this layer i'm gonna paint it which uh i was trying to warn you earlier about um you know whatever color you pick as a background it will repeat the entire pattern it's very simple to do you know you can drag in um things directly from your library this logo right here my fashion brand a second let that pop in so whatever sits inside this board uh, will repeat in the pattern and like I say you want to make sure that you uh, converting everything to smart objects and um, it was a little bit easier for the process of the work She's less fuzzy now you can rotate these, scale them. Repeat them. 
Little simple command J on a Mac. Oh, excuse me. Little option drag. We don't want to put that too far away. So we might want to do something like that. We'll throw some lines in, so how easy this is. I'll paint a little bit. On a brush. Got a brush in it. Let me brush this. Right, they paint them over. Illustrator guy. Let me see what color you got this on. Put some white on here. X. Shift that background color to fourth color. Whatever you draw, we'll repeat throughout the pattern. I think this is some kind of like hatch brush or something. Some free brushes I got uh online. You can zoom out, scale, see the pattern. This is freehand, like there's no thought of this at all. I'm just doing a couple different brush strokes. Just cave man brush. Let's see what this does. A little bit bigger. Oh. No, what am I doing? Hang it down on it. Sorry about that. A little bigger brush. Let's do something like that. Like that, we get there. Let's cover these rough spots up. I do one less of these. Let's get rid of this copy layer. Take this layer. Let's take the shape. Now once you set it on something, there's two ways you can save this pattern. Little window, and the pattern is it. It's already open. Edit the fine pattern. Name it. My name is Pink. That's my brand name, and. Um, that's about it. Now to use the pattern, you're just going to open another document. Background layer. You're going to unlock it. Double click here. Pattern overlay. It's a pattern I made for something else. Boom, there you go. Pattern. You scale it. Whatever size you need. Pattern exists.